hope you enjoy it because you will save money. You'll be able to make it yourself so you don't have those added chemicals and you'll save yourself a trip to the grocery store. So you'll be healthier in essence, in a sense. Blah, 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 blah. Enjoy this video. So here is washing soda, not baking soda, washing soda, three quarter cups, half a cup of borax, and then in here is the essence, two tablespoons. So whatever essence you make, we're gonna add that all. So first, let's boil the water and I'll show you how to do this. So now we're gonna add our washing soda and it's three fourths of a cup. This is a little more, remember I am doubling the recipe. So add it a little bit at a time. I still have my heat on high. A little bit at a time because it does that, okay? Sorry, I'm stepping back. Are you gonna turn off the fire? No, baby. So then I'm using a whisk and I'm just gonna whisk it until it is dissolved. That's why I want to do it. Okay. I'm gonna lower my fire to a medium. And I'm just going to look on the bottom here to see if it is dissolved. It looks dissolved to me. So now I'm, I reduce the heat to medium low. I reduce the heat to medium low. Yeah, that's good because Jayden, I didn't like the Jaden freaks out with, you know, the bubbles and, and high heat and everything. Anyways, so now I reduce the heat to a medium low. And I'm going to let this cook for two minutes. I'm going to put the timer and then I'll be back and we'll finish. Okay, it's been two minutes, okay? That's what it looks like. So now what I'll do is we can go ahead and add the um, half of a cup of borax. Remember, I'm doubling this recipe. So I'm just gonna add it slowly. And stir until it's dissolved. If you guys are interested in seeing how I make my homemade shampoo and everything, comment below. I make um, reusable dryer sheets. I make um, homemade shampoo. It's a body wash and shampoo in one. And then I also make a dish soap. I also make, what else did I make? A bleach spray um, to clean showers and stuff and toilets and disinfect it. I use the whisk because you don't want the powders to clump up. And you're more than welcome to use distilled water or filtered water because you don't know what particles are in your, your um, faucet water. But I went ahead and um, I just used faucet water. I think when you boil it, it just fills it. It also helps to um, melt all the powder together. Now, we're going to add our soap. So I'm going to go get that soap, and it's the cast style soap. I use the liquid form. Um, soon I'll be coming out with a video that will show you how to make your own from a bar, cast style soap bar. You make your own liquid because the liquid is more expensive so I'll be back with the soap all right so it's a quarter cup of the castile soap I do use the unscented one and I'm gonna add my orange essence that we made or you can mix the citruses um, lemon grapefruit lime even um orange juice I, I did the orange one earlier. not orange juice but orange so here is the quarter cup again I'm doubling it so this is half a cup of the um, cast aisle soap so I'm going to add it a little bit at a time okay and then we're going to stir 
I'm doing it gently. I don't whisk it because I don't want it to bubble. And so now that the borax and the washing soda and the cast out soap is in and all those powders are dissolved, right? Now we're gonna add our essence. If you're using oils, do not do this step yet. Wait until it cools completely before adding your oils. Um, but this is the essence that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and add it. And I reduced my fire to a simmer. I'm going to stir. Oh, pretty color. Natural, pretty color. So now I'm going to let it simmer on low. That's what a simmer is um, for 20 minutes. So I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Bing. All right, so I'm going to leave this here to sit overnight and it's starting to thicken already and when it is done which I'll show you in the morning it should be a gel like consistency okay if you make this leave in the comments let me know how it turned out for you and if you have any questions comment below and I'll get back to you uh, excuse me and I'll get right back to you Stay safe during this quarantine, guys. My love and my prayers goes out to each and every one of you. God bless you all. I'm super excited because it has not been um, 24 hours. It has been two and a half hours. And look, it's starting to gel up very nicely. See you tomorrow. All right, guys. So it is the next day and it's, it's solid. It's kind of mushy. See? quarantine will do to you yep. <laughs> all right so what I'm gonna do because I wanted it in different form so all I'm gonna do is um, put this in uh, my blender my older ninja that I have around and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it until it's smooth and I'm gonna show you what that looks like and I'm gonna put it in the container that I'm gonna be using all right so all you need is one to two tablespoons per load in your dishwasher dispenser now it all depends on how big is your load right so if it's a smaller load you could do one tablespoon you be the the judge but let me tell you that this is going to be so worth it i'm super excited and i'm never buying store-bought soap again because making it at home has been very satisfying and you know like a stress reliever and also, I have saved so much money by doing this. And the best part about it, I don't have to go to the grocery store to buy it. Awesome, right? All right, I'll be right back. So here we have Christian. Say hi. How old are you, Christian? I'm 10. You're 10. And what has quarantine done for you? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what have you learned? Not to go outside because of my allergies. Hey, hold on, hold on. That's enough. Okay, so we're gonna hold on. Let me shake it a bit. Not to go outside because of your allergies. Yep. All right, so I'm filling it about that much. Actually, fill it up to where it says cups, cups right here. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, Jaden and Christian have had horrible allergies going on since quarantine. We go outside to try and do walks, and guess what? We come back with swollen eyeballs. Right. Yep been hard that should be enough i think that's good watch that little piece it's gonna fall off yeah ah. <laughs> all right so the pieces you dropped on the counter go ahead and pick them up and put them back in the pot all right we're off the blend blend it up we're gonna blend it until it's smooth A little more. Okay, let's take this off. Hold the hand up, baby. Hold the hand up. And let's see. Looks smooth to me. Nice and creamy. Right? Alright, let's put it in the container. If you are going to use essential oils in here, 
you're gonna need a glass container. Otherwise, you can use a plastic container to store your soap away in. I had these readily available. I usually use it for my almond flour and stuff to keep in there. It has a wide rim mouth. I got these at Ikea. Very inexpensive. I think they were four or five dollars each. And I got a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna just reuse them for the purpose of the soap because if I use the tablespoon, I can reach in here for the remainder. Just makes sense to me. So we're gonna have Christian pour that right in. Hopefully it'll pour, let's see. Oh boy. Ah! The middle part. Is Hang on. There it goes. All right, we're gonna continue. Hold on, don't do that, because that little part in the middle is gonna fall out. So we're gonna continue doing that and I'll show you what it looks like. I wasn't recording. So. <laughs> so frustrating. All right, so this is the consistency you can expect. I love this container because, bam, it has a screw cap that I could just open up, get my tablespoon, and put it in my dishwasher, and I'm done. I doubled the recipe, so I'm going to have to use another one of these because look at all that soap still left in there that we have to blend, right? So I just wanted to tell you about this container because they're at Ikea, and I think you could order them online, but... I'm not sponsored. It's just one friend to another. This thing is the bomb diggity, okay? All right. Now, if you try this soap, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Now, visit my website, www.ketoalee.com for the written recipe as well. Enjoy and stay safe. And stay home, guys. See you soon.